Now to campaign 2018, 1.2 million Coloradans have already handed in their ballots so far. One of the most controversial measures on the ballot is Proposition 112. That's the anti-fracking initiative. Governor Hickenlooper told our political specialist Sean Boyd that if it passes, he would consider calling a special session to delay its implementation. If 112 passes, this is where the battle would move. The state legislature would decide how to implement the measure. Problem is, the legislature doesn't meet until January, and 112 would take effect almost immediately, unless the governor calls lawmakers back early. You could call a special session to delay implementation of this. Will you do that? We'll certainly look at it closely and try and uh, bring the stakeholders together, the environmental community, the oil and gas industry, uh, the new governor, but the stakeholders should be the ones who have a voice in whether you call a special session. The two men vying to replace Hickenlooper both opposed the measure, but at the CBS4 debate last month, they disagreed on whether the governor should intervene. I would pursue every redress possible for that job killing measure. What we're talking about here is the sanctity of the will of the voters. But Governor Hickenlooper says it's about how the will of the voters will be carried out. The measure requires a half mile buffer between new oil and gas drilling and homes, schools, or any area government deems vulnerable. But vulnerable, for example, is one of the things not defined. These initiatives are often bare bones, right? They don't go on to 40 pages of what happens in this case or that case. You, you want to minimize the unintended uh, collateral damage, right? The state oil and gas conservation commission says 112 would ban fracking in most parts of the state. I mean, it's a big part of the state's economy, right? You're talking, I mean, 15 percent, some people say as much as 20 percent of the state's economy, and suddenly it goes to half. That, that is how you spell recession. If 112 passes and the governor calls a special session, there is no guarantee lawmakers would delay implementation of the measure. The Democratic majority leader in the House has come out in support of 112. At the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First.